All right, hey everybody, it's Joey Anderson here again from Wandering Hermits, and we're continuing on with the how to build a point and click adventure game. Um, it's been a while. We've gotten quite a bit done again, and today we're going to talk about um, characters because I know that some people have asked um, to have that done in the past, anyways. And that just happens to be where we're at. Um, taking the mannequin and then turning it into an actual character. So, like, here's an example. Go into my folder here. Oh, I've got so much stuff. There it is. And, okay, so, like, here's a test one that I was working on. So you can get a character that looks like something like this. Now what we're doing to achieve this is using a modular character pack. Now there's several several character packs. Um, so like this one. Now we have um, all of the human asset packs for this bundle here. This is an add-on to the original one, but I'm just showing you from Enhanced Studio. Uh, great one to look at if you don't already have one. But from my understanding, um, the way that modular characters work, this should work with any pack that you have. Uh, and, and forgive my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather today, but it is what it is. So like, here's another one that we've actually got animations hooked up to. Let's see how to do that. So what you want to do is find the NPC in the um, toolkit, right? Within the toolkit, because we're dealing with the point and click toolkit. Right? So there's your character. So you can do this not only with your NPC, but you can do it with your character. Because, like, there's my player character controller. That way you can actually add your player character. So that he's not just the mannequin. Or she. So there's your NPC character, right? Now what I did is I copied that. Made a child class of it. And put it in my my project folder in NPCs because then what I can do is I can just boom right click create child and all of the components and everything the inventory everything that needs to be there is already there now again we're after simplicity so we want the animations that come you know if, if you play around with the toolkit you know that the the, the player and the NPCs already have animations rigged to them because there is a um, animation blueprint already associated with that. So what you're going to want to do is eventually you can create your own. If you have your own animations you want to use, you know, there's plenty of videos out there to show you how to do this. But the way that I got things initially working, right click this and retarget and duplicate and do that for your your character right so like if here's your character you'll want to retarget all those animations for this skeleton right because all of your meshes that you're going to use to create your new character are using this skeleton. Now obviously like you know it comes with all these animations so you can use like I said you can create your own new blueprint <coughs> excuse me um, but there's that one uh, so let's get into it go ahead and open it up and if you see here, 
were in the blueprint. So there's how we talk to him and everything. We've we've discussed this, but we want to change how he looks. So as you can see here, he's animated, sitting there, heavy breathing. Now this is going to be easier, you know, if you have two monitors, <laughs> like I do. Uh, but we'll, we'll we'll see what we can do here. There we go. Let's come in here, and the first thing you're going to want to do, where am I? Stylish character. Yep, meshes character. Bam. Base. Okay. We're going to change this. So we're going to come over here into the details. And so, like, this modular character is broken down into, you know, We've got head, ears, feet, hands, you know, we've got everything. Okay? If you're using a different pack, it may look a little different, you know, depending on what you're using. But basically, you want to, like, I'm going to start with the head. Boom. Right? Then, whatever you add to this, add it underneath this. And label it. Pants, they're there. Pants. Oops, those are boots, not pants. Anyways, just go through here and add all of your components. Or your, excuse me, not components. Well, I mean, they're components, but they're skeleton meshes, right? Because, like, you can get, you can do this the same with uh, your hair, you know, do it with all of it. And then you can change your materials, whatever you need to do to get your character looking like you want it to look with all of your modular pieces. Then, what you're going to do is come back you know a little bit later after you've done customized it and you're gonna have something that looks like well which one are we gonna open let's do this one okay so now you got a guy It looks like this, right? You've got all your components added here. Everything slotted correct correctly. So like um, with this pack, you know, everything works very nicely together. So you can literally just come in here and be like, you know, I want this shield. Well, check it out. We've already got the skeleton rigged and everything like that, so we can come over here to the parent socket, and it knows if you if you tell it to parent socket to the back middle, boom, it just it, it knows right where to put it. So I highly recommend this pack to anybody because it's super super easy to work with. Okay, now that you got them all looking like this, what you want to come in here and you want to set the master pose component and the way this works is you tell it what you want your bone component to be the main one right master bone component so whether it's your head <coughs> excuse me whatever your main one is drag it over here put it in here and then put everything else under the target right and what that does is that keeps everything in sync because then all you come you come over here to your main one and that animation blueprint that we retargeted and you'll have to forgive me because I never renamed mine um, so it still says mage test because that's when I was testing out this on the mage okay anyways but when we update the blueprint boom now he has all of the 
animations working together. So, I realize I didn't show you everything step by step, but I think I covered everything on how to get here. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you are retargeting, like we talked about, You'll want to come into your skeletons and make sure, and there, there's some videos on how to retarget things on YouTube, but um, make sure that these all match, right? So upper arm, upper arm, lower arm, lower arm, you know, left. Because I had some issues with arms turning around backwards, and what it ended up being was I think it was this one was like selected for his hip or something like that the other thing you want to keep in mind is come up here come to retargeting options make sure these all match so we retargeted from the NPC right well, not really, but that wasn't what I wanted to do. There it is. There we go. All right, so this is what we retargeted from. So the asset pack that comes with the toolkit, the blueprint that's already created, now, now, this is just bare bones how to get everything functioning. That's all I'm going over. If you go to read, so, tells you what everything's slotted as, right? Well, you want to make sure that these all match up, right? And most of the time, if you're having an issue with the animation, it's because, <coughs> excuse me, the, um, the, the bone that you're trying to animate isn't, you know it's not telling it to search for the skeleton so just a tip and there's our creepy little non-material dude that we were working on so yeah I hope that helps um, if you have any questions feel free to ask me <laughs> I'll probably be able to answer them better than actually doing a cover video like this but um, stick around because the next, now that we're working with characters, the next one that I'll uh, take a look at is probably how to move a character around within the toolkit. Um, I'll give you an example of that here. Why do I keep getting lost? So this will be a good overview of what you can do with the character animations getting worked in and what you can do with moving a character around which we'll look at in another video because that'll take a while oh my goodness it's early in the morning it's having to think a little bit so this is an entirely new scene this is our character that we have. We have the blueprint selected. And if you watch, come in and boom, the NPC now moves. So We'll take a look at how to do that in the future. But if what I wanted to show you right here is now that we have this character set up, there's those same animations that are with the point and click toolkit. So the talking animations, because everything's already set up for that. So it's just a quick and easy way 
to get everything functioning together. <clears throat> and like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, you can do that with your character too. Now, my character is a lot more simplified, but there it is. Exact same way. So yeah, guys, let me know if you have any questions. I hope that helps. And until next time, take it easy.